Hi all folks, this is Max from RootGalaxyNote.com. Today we're going to learn how to root our Galaxy Note um, for ICS or Gingerbread. This is another method, um, but it should work on ICS. I have actually an uh, ice cream sandwich here, and uh, this is the leaked version. Now I'm going to go root it. Very simple to do. Um, first, what you'll do is hold down the volume down button and the power button together. Wait until your phone resets. When your phone resets, keep holding down the volume down, but let go of your power button. And there you go. Let go of your power button when your screen goes off, and you'll also feel a little vibration on your phone. And then you'll get to this warning screen. Hit volume up right here. And then you'll connect it to your computer via a micro USB cable. Uh, make sure you don't use a USB hub. Sometimes they don't. Uh, you you can still detect your device but sometimes it won't download and also this method is for Windows for right now I'll have an updated method with OS X and Linux coming next so once that's done let's go to our computer next what you want to do is uh, open up device manager um, in your computer Windows computer and make sure under USB serial bus controllers you do have Samsung mobile USB CDC composite device. If you don't, just simply install Samsung keys. Um, I'll have links below. Run it, install it, and you will have that. Um, if you don't have it, then simply restart your computer and you should be all good to go. And then you'll download next ATT Galaxy Note root ICS.zip. Unzip it. You'll find four files. All the files you need to root your Galaxy Note. Um, this is for AT&T version. And uh, simply run Odin V1.85 there, and you'll get the screen, um, and you'll get a little COM with random number, um, COM4, COM5, it doesn't matter, just as long as you have some kind of COM, um, which means your drivers are installed and your phone is detected. Next, you're going to hit PDA button right here, and select the Odin NI177 underscore CWM recovery. Um, that file is in that zip folder you just unzipped. So select it, open, and hit start, and it will flashing. It will start flashing uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery to your phone. I'll show you here. And there you go. If for some reason, if it doesn't start, hangs at initialization. It means um, something's wrong with your USB connection. Might be the drivers. Most likely, you're using a USB hub. Just connect it directly to your phone, and it should work fine. And once that is done, we're going to let the phone reboot. Um, by the way, this root method does not erase anything. Um, it doesn't touch anything. The only thing it does is replaces the stock recovery with the clockwork mod recovery made for the at and Galaxy Note. And uh, once it reboots, we're going to put a file um, into the phone. So you can close up Odin now. And uh, once it boots up, um, connect it to your computer again as a uh, media device it should be automatically connecting um, you might have to unplug your USB like me and then plug it back in here we go and then you'll see it show up here in, by any second here and um, almost done here folks there we go um, you see the SCH right there it's just popped up here do a right click on super user 3.07 blah blah dot zip and copy and go to your phone. Um, if you have SD card uh, inserted, you might have an extra one in here. You can put it on either or. I'm just going to put in my phone internal storage and I'm going to paste it here. Um, since I already copied it over before. So it's there. Um, next, we're going to go back to our phone. And next what we're going to do is hold down volume up or volume down, volume up and volume down, both buttons, and hold down the power button. And hold it down until your phone resets into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Alright, hold it down. And let go of the power button when your screen resets. You'll feel a little vibration, but keep holding down volume up and volume down together. And you'll get into the screen uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery here any second. There we go. And let's zoom in here so you can see the menus better. And simply go to install zip from SD card. 
Um, choose it from SD card or internal SD card, depending on where you put the files. I'm going to choose choose it from internal SD card, and choose super user 3.0.7, and say yes. And it should get something here. And if you get any errors, just run it uh, run it one more time, and uh, you know you can run it a bunch of times. Um, if you get any errors you can just keep it running it um, so long as you get setting creating and then uh, if you get error after that don't worry about it you have root and just reboot just run it twice or three times and then go back and reboot and you'll have super user and uh, root and we'll reboot 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 and and this method works on gingerbread or ICS again and it's the safest method out there very easy to do uh, for OSX you just have to use uh, Heimdall which I have instructions of for the AT&T version only please use it on the AT&T um, Galaxy Note or if you have a SGH i717 model for TELUS, Bell or Rogers Canadian carriers but this is not for the unlocked international European Asian versions of Galaxy Note please don't try it um, you can probably recover just a lot of headache if you do that and we re reboot it and you can check that you have super user permissions um, and a lot of people ask me okay so I have rooted my phone it took me five minutes to do it thank you now what I do um, next step you can do is you can get uh, like free Wi-Fi tethering um, there's a AT&T Wi-Fi tether hack so you still have to pay for your data but you don't have to pay extra for tethering so you have super user and you're all good to go next step is you might want to install titanium backup backup all your favorite apps um, install SMS text backup app and backup your SMS text um, just in case you're gonna go install new ROMs and of course you'll want to install new ROMs and uh, that's pretty much it and this will work on any gingerbread gingerbread Galaxy Note AT&T version SGH i717 um, so this root method will con you know it will work year after year um, even if you know um, the next version of ICS is introduced by Android um, because it uses the recovery portion we install the recovery and then we simply zip the super user SU files so it does not harm your phone in any way the only thing it changes is um, it changes the stock recovery to clockwork mod uh, clockwork mod recovery and installs root for you anyway uh, thanks you guys for um, supporting my channel and if you have an AT&T Galaxy Note or an international Galaxy Note don't forget to sign up for my email list at rootgalaxynote.com where we update you once or twice a week uh, when I have time and I don't share your email with anyone else and if you're on YouTube don't forget to hit that like button favorite button and subscribe button because you love these videos and uh, share this with your friends on Twitter Facebook or Google Plus and I'm gonna get really high on Android today folks and I hope you guys stay high um, stay dry and high and uh, thanks you guys again for supporting my channels channel you guys rock see y'all later don't be a hater